One person we know has died. Several children are seriously injured tonight. The mystery remains here. How did it start? It happened near East Miller Road and South First Street in Garland. And tonight, Aaron Jones speaking to a neighbor who heard a terrible sound yesterday and ran to help. Tonight, the neighbor we spoke to says that he could hear and feel the explosion from across the street Sunday morning. He didn't waste any time getting here to help. It sounds like something drops and boom. And then I saw this white stuff coming up. Frank Sanchez says as the fire spread, some people started coming out of the house while others were still inside. He quickly began helping them. I hear somebody else kind of praying or crying or something. It was the lady on the room on the right inside. So I went inside and tried to help him. He says by this time the flames were so intense he couldn't get to 54-year-old Paula Reyes. So he asked his neighbor for help. And I tell one of, one of the guys I said, hey, give me a short or something so I can kill the fire. And then give me that short and I went back inside. My neighbor, he coming over and we we grab it and we put it outside. As soon as we put it outside, everything catch on flames. Reyes was taken to a nearby hospital but didn't make it. Well, now that I'm thinking about it and now that they find out the lady passed away, it's more like I start shaking more. Even my neighbor, he said he can't sleep. It was horrible. The most horrible thing I've ever seen. Her two daughters, son and two grandsons, one just three years old, are now recovering in the hospital, three of them in critical condition. Garland police say the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but a gas leak is a possibility. I think me and all the neighbors' concern is going to be that uh, what happens in there, we just try to get answers for them. And while the fire marshal, ATF, and Atmos investigate, we're told a donation page has been set up for the family. We have a link to it on our website, cbsdfw.com. In Garland, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.